Hello and welcome to this fifth Sunday of Easter. Today we listen to a very short gospel. The gospel tells us the reason why Jesus came, the reason why he died, the reason why he rose and the reason why we are all gathered together in our various churches today. It is because he came to show us God's glory. The meaning of glory, as it's used in the Old Testament, means the manifestation of the inner truth of the human being when we say, we saw his glory. When we talk about the glory of God, it means that God is going to reveal himself. He's going to reveal himself and we're going to find out who God is, the God who has been hidden for centuries. We'll see who he really is. And Jesus is going to be the instrument of that revelation. And how does Jesus do this? Well, let's remember the first sentence of the Gospel. He, Judas, had left them. We're at the Last Supper. And when Judas Iscariot leaves him, he is going to the Sanhedrin. The leaders, will, he will say to them, I will hand him over to you. And then the ordeal will begin. For he will walk into that garden he will sweat blood. He will be full of fear. Finally, he will say to his father, take this away from me, but not as I will, but as you will. And the soldiers arrest him and drag him before the Sanhedrin and put him on trial. And the very next day, they crucify him. This, Jesus is saying, is the beginning of the glory. This is his glory, nailed to the cross, Everybody screaming at him, a total failure. Everything that he believed in is challenged. Everything he loved has deserted him on the cross. He looks down and he opens his arms and he says, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And now we have seen his glory. We have seen the glory of God on a cross before the whole world. God so loved the world that he gave his only son into our hands. And the love we show to each other is not our love, it is God's love. And the forgiveness that we give each other is not our forgiveness, it is God's forgiveness. And the caring for each other is also God's caring for each and every one of us. On this fifth Sunday of Easter, we continue glorifying the risen Christ Gradually, Christ approaches his ascension into heaven. Hence, he promised us a place with him in his kingdom if we persevere in our faith and we love one another. Our suffering as Christians is the stepping stone to our victory. If we do not lose faith during times of persecution and hardships, we shall be victorious. Therefore, love for the word and love for one another must sustain us as we march towards the kingdom of God. In today's gospel, Christ gives us a new commandment that he will help us to overcome the world and to march into the new Jerusalem. He says, I give you a new commandment, love one another, you must love one another. Through this, Christ reminds us that the only way we can overcome the tribulations and persecutions of this world is by remaining united in love. So today, when we say we must love one another, it means he knows that we will fail again and again. After all, the man in front of him, when he was on the cross, he said, you will see my glory. Where are they now? They scattered. They ran away. It's only later that they saw the glory in their hearts. And when they saw his glory, who he was and what he was giving to us, they realised he was giving his own love, that that must become our way of life. He will become our truth and he will become our life. So whenever we think of how hard it is to forgive, don't think, yes, how hard it is to forgive. But you're not asked to forgive with your forgiveness. You and Christ together are asked to share the Father's forgiveness with all humanity. The only response that Jesus says on the cross says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I'm sure you would agree that it is in forgiving that we take the first step to healing ourselves 
and healing our lives and ultimately as people with forgiveness for everyone, we can heal the world. Any Christian community or family is united in love and they will never lose its focus or faith in God. Finally, the love that Christ talks about here is an identification mark. Hence he says, by this love, everyone will know that you are my disciples. It is what defines us as true disciples of Christ. This love is the mark of the newness of life that Christ brings to all his people this Easter season. So let us go out united in love into our world. God bless you.